In 2023, I fulfilled a dream to spend a good chunk of time riding through Mexico on my adventure motorcycle. It was a great trip with fabulous food, wonderful people, and amazing scenery. I've put together a playlist of Mexico rides, but in this video, I pick out my top five favorite rides. So stay tuned as I count down my favorite rides in Mexico. Ride number five, the Strato Volcano, Navado de Taluca. <laughs> My new friend Louie and his border colleague Matilda decided to join me for this ride. It's about one hour and 20 minutes of very nice riding from Valle de Brava, or the same from the city of Toluca. No vehicles except beat up pickups that you can hire to take you up. Bicycles and motorcycles allowed on the volcano. but it gets chilly. At the top, there's a gravel parking lot. It will cost you 54 pesos to hike the trails up to the rim. It's 330 meters to the top, where you can see the two crater lakes, Del Sol and La Luna. When you come back down, there is an excellent cantina just inside the gate. We're just heading off for our little ride number four, Mina El Carrizal. The road to Mina El Carrizal is considered one of the most dangerous roads in the world. But first, you have to get there. My new friend Louie decided to ride this one with, with me as well. Eventually we wound down into the Las Aguñas Road, which is really just a river there. Canyon Las Andras. Reach 
Now the fun part. The climb up on this crazy road, over 1,000 feet in about one kilometer. And watch out for the dump trucks. Keep going. Okay. Eventually, you arrive in the town of Zimapan. Google is once again taking me on an interesting little side road. Ride number three, San Cristobal to Grutas de Tolantango. I was just trying to get from Huasca de Ocampo to the waterfalls at Grutas de Tolantongo. But maybe Google Maps was set to no tolls, which can take you to some weird places in Mexico. Just before San Cristobal, things got exciting with a wild climb up the side of the canyon wall. Wow. Crazy, crazy, crazy road. It just kept getting crazier with narrow switchbacks, wild climbs, and stunning vistas. <laughs> Crazy, crazy, crazy. I saw one truck in the two and a half hours from San Cristobal to Grutas de Tolon Tango. I keep thinking this road is done going up, but it's still going up. Like I was way down in that valley there. Insane. Never seen a road like this. I relaxed once I could see civilization again. Tolantongo was well worth it.
Ride number two, into Copper Canyon to Bato Piles. Very little traffic. It's a lot of fun. Well, there's some traffic. Okay, we're doing a serious descent here. I originally had this as my number one ride because the views as you descend into Copper Canyon, or Barrancas del Cobre in Spanish, are stunning. drop from over 7,000 feet or 2,100 meters to 3,000 feet, 914 meters, at the bottom of the canyon, and most of that in a little under two kilometers. This is remarkable. Wow, there's some big rocks that are falling down here. Holy crap. It is paid for most of the way, but there are surprises along the way. Yeah, we're on a total gravel here. Looks like we're going over a slide. Yep. Chase. Bottom is the very beautiful village of Bato Piles and the delightful Hotel 
Juanitas. Hola. Ride number one, Bato Pilas to Urique. Gracias. Still in Copper Canyon, this is my top ride so far in Mexico. The river road, so cute the way that they've uh, put little trails and playing fields on the river. I actually think this is my road here, unless it's this one here, huh? could be. scenery. Wow. Stop for some water here. I think that's Bato Pile down there. What I did not realize before going is that you climb all the way out of the canyon, then go back down to the bottom. Multiple steep climbs, scrabbly gravel, and uncountable switchbacks can test your endurance and can be tough if the temperatures are in the high 30s. But the solitude and the astonishing views are well worth it. Yikes. Hope. 
Hopefully, they will have gasoline and maybe even a restaurant. Which I am doing very, very slowly. There is the delightful Entre Amigos hostel at the end of the trip. There it is, my top five rides in Mexico. What do you think? Have you been down there? What are your favorites? Where do you plan to visit? Let me know in the comments and like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.